what's up YouTube? this is boy g back in another video this is the one bow t6 max we will also see this as uh, xiaomi all right xiaomi one bow uh, t6 max this is like projector right from uh, xiaomi but i believe a lot of um devices or a lot of um gadgets uh, that is coming from china are advertised as xiaomi or probably xiaomi is one of um their like um distributor so let's go ahead and open this up all right so that is the actual box inside uh the name one bow will greet you right away let's pull it sideways really quick here all right right in front you will see a picture of this one bow projector on the side it's just gonna show you another uh, angle of it and then we'll show you some of the information that we need to uh, know and then from the back there's also portable handle design showcasing the leather strap on it here's on the other side so it says full glass lens led light source fully sealed light engine double fans and low noise so let's go ahead and uh, open this box right now nice presentation so far this is the manual let me see if it's on english now or if it will require some of my skills again in reading but uh, oh okay so it's definitely english so just check that out but the manual is pretty thin it's just gonna show you all the important things that you need to know uh, don't lose that if you're interested in checking manuals but it's all in english it's not in chinese or any language out there so no worries Moving on, there's a styrofoam uh, above covering the actual projector here. Let me get that. It's pretty heavy. Let's put it aside first so that we can check other things that is included. So right below that, you will see um, this power brick. So uh, the power supply is outside, which is good. You know, you don't need the power supply to be inside and generate heat, uh, especially if you're uh, making this like portable right so that definitely helps but this is the power again it's just auto volt uh, the 110 240 so no worries there two ampere output and uh 120 watts and of course the uh power cable that you attach to that so this is the remote control um looking fancy it's also on white color it's actually looking good it's it's kind of like uh matte white very minimalistic so you do have the sources there the menu the voice and the power of course um you do have some led lights there and this is the uh directional pad the volume home the back and then the focus this features an electronic focus so you don't need to uh fumble around you know go to the actual projector and um, press or scroll some physical scroll by the way the remote did not include any battery on it so that's a bummer but you will have to uh, purchase your own triple a uh, battery this is the actual projector which is covered in this very soft uh, plastic kind of like feels like a paper plastic as well but that that feels good and this is the actual projector. I really like the front of it. Um, if you notice, it's it's gorgeous, right? The front um, glass or the lens is pretty big, um, unlike other projectors or portable projectors out there and that looks like a camera. Now this one looks like a projector, right? So it's really fancy. You, you see uh, the lights on my ceiling being bounced there by the lens. By the way, it's all plastic underneath you do have some information there along with the uh, tripod mount so you can definitely uh put it on the tripod that is gorgeous right i just really love the look of it it's extremely portable uh, standing vertically right it's not like a flat like most conventional projectors out there it looks good and it also again showcase this leather strap which is extremely useful um, by you know you can just uh, hold it right there and avoid 
making the actual body dirty right it's covered or it's uh, it's being held by uh, some metallic there above there's like a single power button and you will not find any button anymore aside from that one so in front it says one bow projector full hd 1080p so again this is a 1080p native uh, projector although it supports 4k decoding so in front there's like the fan like a do double fan there uh, one in the back a big one in the back as an intake and then um, on the bottom of that there are two 5 watt speakers along with the adapter on the top there's the USB there's actually two USB ports you know headphone or video jack in and then the HDMI uh, port which is just labeled HD and not HDMI 2.1 2.2 you know 1.4 or ARC so that is just a basic of the basic HDMI uh, port basically again product model of this is T6 Max right by Wanbo Xiaomi again by others dimension 195 by 137 by 201 millimeter and this is just um, color white right it doesn't come with other colors 1845 gram and um, projection technology is LCD light source is lead physical resolution again is just 1080p right it does support 4k in youtube so we'll check that out in our testing in our review uh, projection ratio is uh, 1.35 by 1 all right projection scale is 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 processor of this is amlogic 972 which is the same with uh, other xiaomi higher or more expensive brands out there or more expensive model two gigabyte of rom uh, or ram um, it's actually ddr4 as well right so the ram for this is ddr4 storage of built-in is 16 gig emmc high-speed flash memory this comes with android 9.0 right so it's like an android already it's not like some other um, os out there it's android 9.0 uh, it also supports both 2.4 plus 5g dual band wi-fi so no worries there um, uh, you, know, you can definitely use your high-speed uh, wi-fi right there bluetooth is 5.0 again speaker is two pieces right two speakers two five watt speakers with each independent digital power amplifier which is really really good it's pretty loud focusing again is already electric so it's automatic so let me go ahead and set it up and let's check it out all right so this is my screen that i purchased from online store as well it's pretty good it's actually anti-light so it uh, it enhances the contrast and the effectivity of the projector so as you can see the uh, one bow t6 max is booting up on this one now this screen by the way is 120 inch it's actually so big for our room where i set it up that's why i cannot maximize it given the distance of the projector if the room is bigger i can you know make it a little bit bigger now let me walk you through the settings here so you can see there's wi-fi you know the very first um, option uh, among the settings is the Wi-Fi where you can actually connect it to both 2.4 and 5G networks which is pretty good follow by accounts and then Bluetooth and remotes so you can add Bluetooth accessories such as keyboard mouse mode here input source so there's an HD HDMI port on the back of it so you can just plug an HDMI cable or in my case an Amazon Fire Stick TV uh, you have language here then uh, below that would be video audio and display so you do have the production method um, it's just gonna ask you what setup you have you know if you have it in a ceiling or like a rear projection you also have automatic focus here just uh, toggle on and off uh, as well as the vertical keystone which will basically just reset your um, you know keystone now here's the four point keystone where you can actually adjust all of the corners uh, so you can set it up if just in case your um, projector is not in the middle of your space and then you also have a zoom of course electronic zoom 
albeit it's limited you know it's there aspect ratio would be here as well auto 4x3 or 16x9 which is the default uh, no other aspect ratio among uh, those two and then sound is very you know it's just it's just volume actually there's nothing else here you do have um, date and time storage uh, if you want to monitor how many space you've still got you know in your storage uh, reset update um, initially as soon as you plug this in it will update right away device preferences you know you got your keyboard there you know some google stuff and then about now mind these um, uh, quality by the way because I'm using a cell phone on a low light, which is not good. So it's extremely bad, but you know, at least I'm just gonna show you uh, some idea, right? That you can, you can have an idea uh, on the overall quality of it, right? I know the cell phone, the mobile phone is capturing bad lighting, but you can have a very good idea on how clear and how uh, colorful the actual uh, projector is right for the price of uh, 250 dollars for the one boat t6 max i think it's it's very very good you know it's uh it's absolutely worth it it's a very good uh portable uh projector uh because there's you know projector tends to be expensive right there's a lot of uh, very expensive uh, projector out there and this actually competes for about double the price like 500 450 dollars projector that i saw in lasada as well it actually directly competes with that but um of course it cannot compete with the high tier one right with the uh, real 4k with the hdmi 2.1 hdmi arc those kind of stuff it won't compete with that that is uh you know you have to spend more for that one so it's it's okay i guess you know if you really want a big screen and watching 1080p netflix over a fire stick or something external hard drive on youtube again you can use 4k it's very very good but it's still an android you know um, os so you can play around right install some apk and uh you know fool around and make the most out of it now I'm gonna show you right now my Fire Stick TV that is plugged into it. Um, it works perfectly. However, the HDMI port, as I said earlier, is just HD. So you can see here, it's just up to 1080p max. It says it's not capable of uh, HDCP 2.2, right? Which is, you know, pretty shame because if it only has um, HDCP 2.2, where it can actually accept HDMI 4K, this will absolutely be a blast already. Like, you know, for the price, it will be really good. I hope uh, there'll be something like an update or something. I don't know if it's physical or electronic, but I hope there's like an update or something that it can show in the, you know, in the future maybe. But let me know guys, what are your thoughts about this Wanbo T6 Max uh, projector. Again, it's a portable projector. It's just $250. You can even get that in, you know, a little bit less i guess but let me know uh, down in the comments if you have any thoughts or any questions about it but that's all for today guys thanks so much for watching click the like button if you like this video again comment down below if you have any questions have any thoughts about this product subscribe if you're not subscribed yet uh you know i review a lot of products out there so this uh might help you in your purchase decision but that's all for today thanks so much for watching stay safe and see you on my next one Yes.